three-time Olympic champion and iconic sports star in China, Sun Yang, recently had to endure a public hearing lasting 11 hours. I know he's a long-distance swimmer, uh, but uh, I don't know if he's a, a long-distance uh, hearing person. He was trying to show, well, um, I maybe did something, but in the context of how it all took place, uh, it was completely understandable, and he wanted that to be shown to, to, the, to the public at large. We have no any We are able to test this is the second time for the Court of Arbitration for Sport, or CAS, to hold a public hearing, and it was requested by Sun Yang himself. The CAS decision will determine if Sun Yang will be able to defend his titles in the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games. But what really happened? Is Sun Yang in the right or in the wrong? On September 4, 2018, four testers from the International Testing Company, or IDTM, visited Sun Yang's home in Hangzhou around 10 p.m. to conduct an out-of-competition doping test on the swimmer. <laughs> Soon didn't let them take away his samples after he found the testers lacked sufficient authorization and credentials. Athlete has rights, rights to privacy, rights to know who is testing him. And are they <coughs> qualified? Are they authorized to do so? Okay, they didn't ask for his sperm, but they asked for his, they asked for his blood and his urine. And in order to do that, to take your bodily fluids, you should be qualified. Sun Yang was then accused of violating anti-doping rules. Two months later, the World Swimming Governing Body, FINA, held a hearing over the case. Soon showed 58 pictures and video clips at the 13-hour hearing in Lausanne, while none of the testers appeared. On January 3rd, 2019, FINA released a statement stating that, quote, Soon Yang did not commit an anti-doping rule violation. So we're underway with the swimming finals, but they're still chasing Sun. Horton is swimming a terrific race over there in lane number two. It's Sun in front. I don't think they'll get him. He's half a length in front, the champion from China. And Sun Nadez, who takes the first of the gold medals. Horton takes the silver. Despite FINA clearing Sun's name, Australian swimmer Mac Horton refused to share a podium with the Chinese during the World Swimming Championships which triggered a wide debate among the media. Matt Horton's long-running feud with China's... Been more controversy at the World Swimming Championship. He is a drug cheat. I just won't share a podium with someone who behaves in the way that he has. Yeah, look, I mean, I understand that athletes are very frustrated with the, the global anti-doping system. It certainly has its failures. And there's an Australian on the team in South Korea at the moment who's been suspended for a year. The whole fiasco can be chalked up to an appeal, which WADA filed against FINA's decision to clear Soon's name. But the fact remains that there is no evidence behind the false claims that Soon is a drug cheat.
in this day and age it's impossible to to believe that you would be prepared to give that up to people who, who couldn't show for a um, qualification and accreditation. It's important for everyone to have clear rules and we should not forget that doping officers, chaperons and so on, they need also to know how they should proceed and what are the rules. The results he's earned are on the back of extremely hard work, dedication and everything you'd expect of a champion and it's important here that his successes can be recognised, can be respected. Uh, 祝你健康快乐, 天天开心。